What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC here. Today I want to do a little unboxing on the Horizon Hobby Blade MCPX BL2. Uh, it's a little helicopter I've been wanting to get for a while. I know it's not brand new, but it's new to me. I decided to jump on the bandwagon. I had the original MCPX for many years. I still have it somewhere. I know they came out with the BL. A lot of people like that, and then they came out with the BL2, and a lot of people like that, so I finally figured it was time for me to jump ahead and get one. First of all, the box art is amazing. Nice, of course. It's a Horizon product. They always have great art on the box, great colors. It's an intermediate 3D helicopter, brushless power system. I believe it's a brushless main and tail motor. 3D performance, a lightweight design. It's got safe technology. It's a bind and fly basic. So um, that means no battery, no charger. We have the lightweight, agility, the cutting edge, and convenience. Micro 3D made easy. I'm actually extremely excited to go ahead and get this thing opened up. Let's see what we got here. First thing I see, that is a pretty little helicopter. I really like that scheme. I'm a big fan of blue on anything. Blue. Red and white, of course, American colors, red, white, and blue. We have a nice little plastic carrier, nice little keep the helicopter safe. Nice and shipping, no damages. Let's see what we got first. We have a little bag. In the bag, we have the instruction manual. Blade MCPX BL2 by Horizon Hobbies. All for your different radio setups, depending on what you have, what radio you have. I will be using a Spectrum DX9. So that'll be over here with the DX7, G2, DX80, DXG2, DX9, IX12, DX20, DX18, uh, DX6, 6E, 7S, 8, 6I. Read through all your manuals, your flight modes, an exploded parts diagram for anything you need to fix or replace, which is very nice. I keep the manuals for everything. This is the Bible of your aircraft. I have a stack of them. No matter how old the model is, even if I don't have the model anymore, I still have the manuals just in case anybody online needs it. I need it in the future. It has saved me a bunch of times. Let's see what else do we got in here. So we have a little parts bag. We, it looks like we have a spare set of main blades. We have some little grommets. I'm assuming those are canopy grommets. Looks like we have four fly barless links, which is nice. I know on the BL1, they had problems every time they crashed. They would pop off. You would lose them. I don't know if this is the same or not. And we have a little spare tail rotor. Push to fit rotor. We have a little tool bag. We have a little micro Phillips. These are amazing screwdrivers. Buy the product just for the screwdriver. Just kidding. We have a couple Allen wrenches, which is very nice of them to give you. Of course, this is a bind and fly basic, so you will have no battery and no charger, which is one thing I didn't really look into, but I have a bunch of UMX micros, so I had a couple two cell 280s. First thing is first, we have a, a lot bigger than I expected. Um, I guess I was expecting it to be smaller like the Nano, but I'm actually happy with the size of it. Canopy is very nice. It looks like a one-piece pulled plastic, not the two-piece like the original. Carbon fiber tail boom, which is nice and strong. Flexible landing gear will take an impact good. Plastic rotor head, plastic swash plate, plastic mainframe. It looks like the landing gear screw on on this one instead of push on like the old style. And it looks like the main gear has a screw in the middle. And I know the old one used to pop out and it caused problems. We do have a Brussels tail motor, nice little, what is this, 7,700 kV motor. I like how they routed the wires around, kept everything nice and neat and clean. I'm very big on keeping wires clean. We have a nice beefy looking head for a micro. Let's pop the canopy off here and see what we got under there. It's got four canopy mounts, just like the Nano. And of course, I just dropped the canopy. That's great to do on a brand new helicopter. Original mainframe, it looks like, maybe change for the screw-on landing gear. We have linear servos. It's all right. They work good. We have a nice piece of thick foam holding the board in between the board and the mainframe for vibrations. And the board, everything is nice and clean. The board looks great. I don't see anything wrong with that. It looks like the battery is just a push to fit. It slides in. We have this little tag, which will come off just before flight. Brushless main motor. Very smooth. 
very, very smooth. Linear servos all the way around. Normal connector. Looks like they have the same set of spare blades or the same as the main blades. They have the little weighted blades on them. Let's put the canopy back on. It's a very strong, very nice canopy. It looks like it will take a beating and not crack and break up like the original ones did. Canopy fits nicely on and off. Guys, check the balance of your blades. I know on all the other micros, I've had to do that. So, of course, I will check them just to make sure I always check balance on every helicopter blade. Let's do a little comparison between the Blade Nano S2, which I have sitting right here. Micro heli main blades and tail blades. Other than that, it is all stock horizon. I have beat the crap out of this little helicopter. I fly this thing more than any other helicopter I have, and I have everything from this all the way up to a T-Rex 600 Nitro. Probably own over 20 different helicopters. I fly this thing at least 10 flights a day. Come home from work, throw a bunch of batteries through it, have a good time in the living room, calm days, go outside, bash it around. This is probably one of the best little helicopters I've ever purchased. I think I have three Nanos now from the original all the way up to this one. This is the one I fly the most. As you can see, I smashed it into the ground hard the other day and broke the canopy mounts off. So I'll be waiting on a new mainframe that should be here this week. But size comparison between the Nano S2, the Nano CPS, it's all the same size, to the MCPX BL2. Quite a bit different. I wasn't honestly expecting it to be that different. I expected it just to be a little bigger, but it's quite a bit bigger. I'm actually happy with the size. It's not as small as I initially thought. It looks like the same style, you know, push to fit tail rotors. Looks like a Nano S2 just blown up. I'm happy that they have, you know, a little better landing gear design. This is much nicer than these. Everybody knows that these landing gear break super easy. I don't know about the Blade MCPX BL2. Same mainframe design, basically. Um, we have the canopy, which is broken off on this one, so it will not be a pain to take off. But... This one has a molded two-piece canopy. This one has a molded one-piece canopy, which I am very impressed at the quality, of course. Horizon Hobby products are always very good. I'm extremely happy with that. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you guys like the content and want to see more unboxing, flight reviews, I'm um, a new channel, so I'm starting to get started, but I do everything from helicopters to airplanes to speed airplanes, 3D. Give me a like and a subscribe, and take care and have a great day.